Big number today, though, 55,000. But this number is going down, and that's a good thing. It's the number of COVID-19 hospitalizations uh, that we have right now. Um, but this is good. Hospital admissions down again, nearly 10% in the past week. So, Doc, we're going the right direction, right? Yep, absolutely. That's good news. That's good news. But uh, obviously, the booster, official booster news has been the big news, but yep. also confusing news. So what do we need to know? <laughs> well, uh, you know, confusing, yes or no, yes and no. But the bottom line is boosters approved and people have options and their choice. So let's go through kind of the who, what, where, when on this. Uh, the CDC director saying in the past, walk, don't run to get your booster. So no need to panic, but people should get them. When? Two to six months after your last dose. So two months if you've gotten Johnson & Johnson, six months or more if you've gotten Moderna and Pfizer. And then who qualifies? For Johnson & Johnson, it's everyone 18 years of age and older. For Moderna and Pfizer, it's 65 years of age and older and 18 with certain conditions, pre-existing medical conditions or live or work in a, a high-risk area. And why? Data has shown better immune protection with these additional doses. All right. How much longer are we still fully vaccinated, doctor? If you, you don't keep asking that question, and yeah. that is a really good question. We're looking at other countries and parts of the world to see if they're starting to change that. Right now in the U.S., CDC saying you are considered fully vaccinated if you've gotten one dose of J&J &J and the two-dose series of Moderna and Pfizer. Until when is going to be the question. Yeah. Um, but with the new information you've given us there, what are the, what are the expectations? Well, I just are? think it's important to remember clinical trials really focused on the endpoints of keeping people out of the hospital, out of the ICU, and saving lives. But we've heard Dr. Anthony Fauci say those shouldn't be our only goals. We should be concerned with just keeping people from getting infected and sick, even as an outpatient, because there's work, there's school days lost, and that affects not just our health, but our economy. So big picture, we, we want to just cut down the cases of COVID-19 all across the board. Right. Dr. Ashley, we thank you as always. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.